please remember to check out our other videos and to click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. Can you say good morning, Florence? Good morning. Good morning. So I've got a week in the Ionic. James um, found this Ionic for sale for £24,000 um, at Cleveley Motors, but he did say it, he, we could probably get it for between 23 to 23 and a half. He's really impressed with it. And I think he's, I think he's considering it as a replacement for our Tesla. So um he wants me to drive it for a week just to see if i can warm to it so we will see what happens what do you well, think florence maybe we have to have the tesla till it's fixed yeah the tesla's gone in to be fixed it has hasn't it it's gone in to have its wheels balanced so yeah but because the tire the other tire was flat that's right we did have a flat tire as well <laughs> so um yeah so we're just gonna see really what we think of it um at the moment you know it's not what always been my favorite car in the way that it looks um but we've got a week so let's see how we get on yeah yeah hmm. see you later see busy day busy day yeah actually yes we have got a busy day today i'm dropping florence at nursery aren't i mm -hmm. so she can go and see her friends i'm going to work um i'm also going for my covid jab at the hospital in leicester so um, yeah, busy old day. Just have to go and get my COVID jab. This is my second one, so then I'll be all done, thank goodness. Um, it's a 28 mile round trip to the hospital and back. I've just got back into the Ionic and when I left it, it was on 129 miles. It's now showing 132. So who knows, it's, it's just gained three miles. Um, so we'll see. So 28 miles round trip. When I get back, we'll see where we're at. See you later. Bye. I'm here at the Leicester Royal. A bit short on time because I've just had a huge diversion. So instead of it being a 14 mile um, journey to get to the hospital, it's turned into a 20.5 mile journey. Um, but we started out with 132, I think I said, and I've arrived here with 117. And the efficiency is pretty impressive. I'm actually doing 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour currently. And it did go up to 4.6 at one point. So it's doing really, really well. But anyway, I better go, go and get myself jabbed and I'll uh, see you later. Right, so just a really quick one. I've just pulled back up on the drive. So in total, because the road was open on the way home, I've done 34.5 miles in total. And we've got 103 miles left on the predicted range. So I've only used, according to that, 29 miles. So that's quite impressive and it's given me an average of 4.7 miles uh, per kilowatt hour. So yeah, really impressed. And, and one thing I will mention that I really like, and it's become a bit of a challenge, is just to see how much regen I can get because it does give you an indication of, of how many miles you're, you're sort of recouping. It's got a little measure on the right hand side just down here um, next to where the, the speedometer is. And it tells you when you're regening, whether you've regened between 0 to 2.5 of a mile or 0 to 0 0.5 of a mile, and it shows you how much you've regened. It's a little bit like when we had our Nissan Leaf and it had the trees that you could build, depending on how efficient you were. So for me, I really like that. It's like a little reward. What was that? Good morning. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning. So this is day three. Yeah. Is it day three? Yes. Day three, and it's a Wednesday. And every other Wednesday, I have a day off work when Florence is at nursery. And we're so, we going to the zoo. We are going to the zoo tomorrow. But today, Florence is at nursery, and Mummy is going to be doing shopping and cleaning. Various other books. Oh! Mummy's going to be doing shopping and cleaning and various other boring things. So first off, we're dropping Florence at nursery to go and see her friends, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. And then I'm going shopping and then I'm coming home and then I'll be cleaning and I might try and squeeze in a little walk somewhere or something nice. 
because it's oh, a nice go, day. What about we go to the playground? Oh, maybe. We might be able to squeeze in a playground trip. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Just a bit of a negative, and I'm sorry because it's first thing in the morning, but I'm really not a fan of the split rear screen. I find it, I just find it quite awkward, and I think it'd be much better if it was just one piece of glass, <laughs> but maybe it's something you get used to. Do you like it? I like the Tesla. You like the Tesla? Oh, there's Bertie. He was the wrong way. He was. He's going oh, down no. Way. We're going to get stuck behind Bertie. He's going down the way. Oh, we can get past him. Quick. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Bertie. We're going to win. Bertie bin lorry. We're going to win. We got past him. So, Florence. Yeah. Do you like anything about this car, the Ionic? Um. What's your favourite thing about this car? Um, the the buttons. You like the buttons? Why? Because they're blue. Yeah. Yeah. It is nice, actually, isn't it? One thing about the Ionic is the interior is is nice, isn't it? It's got nice um, blue buttons which are touch sensitive. The infotainment system is is really really good. The it's got um, what's it called? Ionic. It is an Ionic. <laughs> Not that sorry. It's got Apple CarPlay, which is fantastic for maps, and the maps are really clear. So that's that's really good. I really like a, a really good um, sat nav or nut sat as it's called in Florence's world um, and at night time when it goes dark it gets funky blue lights doesn't it like little mood lights yeah. which come up in different places around the car which is yeah, really nice yeah we can't touch. see it though we can't see it at the moment can we because it's not dark no because the sun's awake um, so yeah there's that's that's one really nice thing it's just such a shame about the seats because apart from those I really like the interior it's just it's nice it's fairly simple there's a lot of buttons here on the center console which I think could possibly be reduced um, we have talked before about the auto hold button and the um, the lane assist buttons over here on the right hand side so there are lots of buttons sort of spread around in different places but I guess that you know takes a bit of time to get used to and once you're used to it I'm sure it would be a piece of cake I like piece of cake <laughs> <laughs> I like you. We're going to have a picnic in the car and we're going to the zoo tomorrow. We are going to the zoo tomorrow. We are. What are we going to see at the zoo? Monkeys. Monkeys. And there's a photo room. There is a photo booth which we're hoping is working this time. But yes, yeah, so tomorrow is a really nice day because we're going to the zoo. An ice cream shop where we get ice lollies there is there's all sorts of things but one other quick thing is that the predicted range doesn't seem to be moving it's just stayed on 103 miles i mean i know i've not been very far but i've done short little trips and it doesn't seem to have changed my efficiency is on 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour so that's not bad um but yeah right should we get you into nursery yeah you're gonna go see your friends oh there's bertie again oh there's bertie bertie the bin lorry yeah, but in the bin, no, he's got stinky now because he's got rubbish. He has got rubbish. Can you say bye? Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye bye. Oh. So. That was bad planning on my part. Just done my shopping. And the uh, boot's full because it's got the buggy in it, the running buggy. So, uh utilize the back seat instead so all good good morning good morning it's day four and we are going to zoo. the zoo we're going to try cross zoo it reopened this week and it's not very far for us to get there so that's where we're going this morning it's a nice sunny day but it is a bit chilly isn't it so we've got our hats and coats and, and we have to have spare gloves on but you didn't put my coat on i've got your coat in the back so don't worry, it's all ready. Um, I've still got 98 miles on the predicted range, which considering I've used it 
since Monday without charging it. Last time I charged it was Sunday night. It's pretty amazing, really. The efficiency is incredible on this. Um, I don't even know how many miles it is to the zoo. About 12, 13 miles? Yeah. Yeah? Is that about right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not far. So... 46 mile round trip. Blind mummy's maths is bad. And 46 don't miles. Don't see the red dot um, Toyota. Where is the red dot Toyota? Um, over there somewhere. Oh, okay. Should we go? Go, go, go! We have to just press into the lights. Ah, okay. Day four now. I mean, would I want one? There's a lot of there's a lot of good points about the Ionic, but for me, there's just a couple of things which I can't see past. One of those is how it looks. Sorry, but it's just it's just the truth. Some people are not going to like me for it, but it's just it's just what I think. Um, you know, somebody on I think it was on Twitter said that it's a really great car, but it shame as it look shame it. It's a really great car, but it's a shame you have to look like you're driving a taxi. And it is a bit like that. It's not got the the most refined looks, and it, it's not a car that I look at and go, "Oh, that looks nice." I'd like one of those, that's for sure. So for me, I can't. I struggle to see past that. I've got to say, and I have been spoilt. You know, I've been driving around in the Model S, and we've had a Tesla Model Three for a while now, and it's very difficult to see the beauty, perhaps, in any other car. But this, particularly for me, is one that I don't like. Um, the other downside for me is the, um, the seats. Personally, I find them. Oh, bear with. Personally, I find them too hard. I find them too hard. They're not particularly supportive. Seems like the blue tack is getting hard. Oh, well done, sweetie. See, I do find them. Um, the seats I find really hard. They're not very supportive. I get a numb bum particularly quickly, and. I get a bit of backache after a while driving this. After a long period of time in it, I do start to get some backache. So for me, that's quite important. However, the seats are heated, which is a bonus. Three stage and ventilated, I think. Yeah, I think they're ventilated. So that's nice and they'll be lovely in the summer when you, you know, get a bit I sticky. I getting away. That's good, Floz. That's good. Um, my, the other thing I really don't like is the split rear screen. So for me, then I don't like that. Gone. Plus, let me just talk for a sec, just for a minute. So the other thing I don't like is the split rear screen, and I have spoken about that previously, so I won't go on too much about it. Now, this may come across as slightly negative for you as the viewer, but let me give you the figures the Ionic gave us. The week actually turned into a fortnight and we covered 661 miles in total with a cost to run of £7 in electricity, which is the cheapest form of transport I think you can have, and I'm yet to see another EV that can match this. My overall efficiency was 4.8 miles per kilowatt hour, and this included a 90 mile motorway trip at proper speeds. My negatives, in reality, are outweighed by the fact the Ionic is roughly £31,000 cheaper than our current EV, but will do almost everything our Tesla can. Based on that, I think I could put my niggles to one side and manage with it. I mean, £31,000 is a lot of money. What I will say is the issues I found definitely aren't showstoppers and are personal to me, so don't let this put you off. For a family that needs an EV that really does give you the stated range at real speeds, this is definitely the one to have. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week with another episode.